He stars in the first ever convergence of TV and online gaming with Sci-Fi's Defiance. With me now, Grant Bowler. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. Let's talk about Defiance. So tell us about the premise of the show. All right. The premise of Defiance is that uh, basically we've been visited uh, by aliens. And uh, unlike most uh, alien shows, it's uh, we haven't been invaded. They've turned up in uh, a bunch of arcs. And it's basically all of the... Uh, races of aliens from a particular solar system where the sun is dying have fled and they've picked our spot because you know we have lovely trees and weather and we've got the LA sunshine <laughs> so they turn up and uh, they want to basically come in as immigrants uh, there's an enormous misunderstanding which so often there is in this world of ours and a war breaks out the war lasts a long long time and at the very end of it um, there's a horrific accident where all of their arcs uh, explode and descend to earth and when that happens, the Earth is transformed. It's destroyed. It's no longer our environment, and it's not their environment. So the survivors, uh, alien and human alike, and there's seven races of aliens, uh, all end up in this uh, strange new life draft that used to be Earth um, together, and they've got to make the best of it and try and get along. Now tell me a little bit about the video game, because you guys are... The, the cool thing about this is it's a, a TV show, but then also the video game component, it's all kind of together. How does that work exactly? Tryon, which is the game company of the, of the Game Defiance, and uh, Sci-Fi uh, started this process five years ago. This whole thing's been five years in development. And uh, the reason it's taken so long is it shouldn't really be able to happen. And, and in some ways, the technologies have had to evolve for it to happen in that time. So what we have is we've created a pervasive world with the game that exists 24 hours a day, seven days a week in the real world. The game takes place in uh, the Bay Area, San Francisco. Uh, the show takes place in uh, former St. Louis. And they cross over, backward and forward between each other. So there are elements in the game that you, if you're playing the game, will encounter uh, that will cross from the game to the show. And then there are some things that will cross from the show back into the game as you continue playing the game in real time. But how? Well, the game's an MMO. So it is a world that is always existing. It exists on the servers, and you can enter and exit it, but the game keeps on playing. But you can't ch change storylines. You can't immediately change storylines. Stop it. You can change storylines. But over time, because MMOs are social, in other words, the whole design of MMOs is that groups of players get together mm -hmm. and they create you know, meta societies, if you like. Um, what we have engineered is the possibility for those groups of players on a large scale to influence some environmental, political, social uh, events uh, in the game that can then move over and influence the show. Say you're playing the game, uh, in your first several hours of playing the game, you'll encounter me in the game. And you and I will interact and we'll join up and we'll uh, join together to accomplish a task. Now, if you and I accomplish that task, you'll move on to uh, the point where I leave in a particular way, which you're not ah. particularly happy with, all right? The next shot or the next thing that happens is the first shot of the pilot. So there's literal continuity between the two. That's so cool. It took an enormous amount of work. And, well, a, and mine's far, far superior to my own <laughs> to come up with all of this stuff. So the video game you can play where? Is that like um, only exclusive to a certain gaming station? No. This is the first third-person shooter MMO that's released on all three major platforms. It's on oh, PC, yeah. Xbox, and PlayStation simultaneously, and that's never been done before. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>